Hello everybody, this is Classroom Chess with lesson number four. In the first lesson we covered the chessboard and we explained to you why chess is such a wonderful game and why you should learn how to play chess. In the second video we talked about the king and saw how the king can move. The third video was about the queen, the most powerful piece on the board, and we learned how the queen can move. And this video is about the rook. The rook looks like a tower and you can see in the video I put the four rooks because both parties, both white and black, have two rooks each and they start the game in the corners. So white, the white rooks are starting the game on the squares a1 and h1 and the black rooks start the game on the squares a8 and h8. And let me show you, like in the previous videos, how this piece moves. This piece moves only straight forward or straight to the side or straight backwards. So it cannot go diagonally, it cannot go across like the king and the queen were able to. So let me show you, let's put a rook on the white rook here on square f5 and then I'll show you from that position where the rook could move to in one move. So I'll draw the arrows and you can see the rook can go to any square to the left or to the right or to the top or to the bottom. So as many squares as he wants but only to the left, to the right, straight up or straight down. He cannot go across in one move. So for example, if we want to play our rook from the square f5 to the square c8, the rook cannot go there in one move. He'll have to go there in two moves. So he would have to move first from the square f5 to c5 and then from c5 to c8. So queen could get there in one move if she wanted, but the rook has to make two moves to get to that particular square. So if in a game you want to move your rook to that from f5 to c8, you will need to do that in two separate moves. Now let's put the rooks back on where they started and what, I also, what we also saw at the queen, the rook can also take another piece. So for example the rook on a1 could take the rook on a8 because it's just a straight line so he could move from a1 to a8 and then take the piece that is on a8 and take that away, take that off the board. That's what he could do. So, this is the rook. Again, the rook can only, only in straight lines, cannot go across. Straight lines, as many squares as he wants. Front, back, left or right. And in the next video, we will talk about the bishop. Thank you for watching.